Uh, today we're making a ap apricot fish marinade that you can put on any white fish. We've got uh, kute here which we're going to cook a bit later. For now just the marinade. Um, we've melted 125 grams of butter into the pan and to that we are adding two heaped tablespoons of apricot jam. One teaspoon of crushed garlic. Keep the mozzies away. One tablespoon of mustard. If you've got whole grain, that would be awesome. We've got to use what we got because of lockdown. A nice squeeze of fresh lemon. We've already removed the pips, so make sure you don't get them into your mix. And then salt and pepper to taste. We're going to mix it all together. Once it's mixed nicely, we're going to take it off the heat, allow it to cool, and then we go to the second stage of the recipe. So we've allowed the uh, mixture to cool. Now that it's cool, we're going to break an egg into it. Mix it in nicely. And we're only going to use half this mixture onto the uh, kuta. Our recipe for today is tempura battered courgettes. So you take one pallet of courgettes or baby marrow and you cut it into matchsticks. You need to obviously get out the excess water so you can leave it in a sieve for about half an hour with a bit of salt. Once you've got the excess water out, you pat them dry. In a separate bowl, we're going to add 150 grams of flour, a sprinkle of paprika, some dried herbs, and salt to taste. You mix that mixture together. It doesn't matter if um, there are a few lumps, you're adding 150 mils of water to this mixture, obviously. In a separate bowl, you're going to beat two egg whites to a stiff peak. We then obviously need to fold the egg whites into this mixture. Okay, we're then going to take all our courgettes. And whilst we are busy doing this in a pan or a pot or a deep fryer, you're getting your oil mixture up to temperature. Once they're golden brown, you take them out, put them into a separate bowl with a bit of paper towel just to take off the excess oil, and they are crispy and ready to eat. We've got our two lovely kuta fillets on the fire, and as we turn it, we're going to baste it with our marinade. 
Um, this specific fire was made with a mixture of both wood and uh, briquettes for, for flavor and for heat. Obviously with the butter in here, the fire will uh, flame up a bit and you've got to be very careful and turn it as regularly as possible. And dinner is served. You have not had fish until it's been grilled on an open flame.